Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. And for some of you, I will say happy Saturday. But every one of you, may God's blessing and blessings be upon your lives. I want to thank you for joining us again tonight as we continue our prayers on the theme, have a good day. I think after this weekend, those four words will take up a new meaning in our lives. Please share the link that you are watching us on or that you are listening to us on with someone so they can be blessed together with us tonight. I welcome those on Facebook. I see many of you are already on. God bless you as you join us. I welcome those on the podcast. I can see many of you there already. And I think I have uh, Mix LR going and working tonight. And of course, I'd like to say a big thank you for those who always call in to our prayer line. Let us pray. Father, we need you tonight. Without you, we can do nothing. I pray that you will give us audience in your throne room as we call on you concerning good days. I pray, Lord God, that the anointing will be upon me to lead these prayers, and the anointing will be upon your people to pray them also. We bind every work of the enemy against what we're here to do tonight. We pray the Holy Spirit will take the preeminence and bless all of us together in a mighty way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yesterday we looked at the uplifting experience of the Israelites in the kingdom of Ahasuerus, where he was king. If perchance you missed the prayers of last night, please, over the weekend, go on the podcast or go on Facebook and listen to it and pray along with it. We said yesterday that all that could go wrong went wrong against the children of Israel until the power behind their bad days got taken away from Haman. And then good days replaced bad days for them. And I pray that that would be your daily experience in life. There is, however, something very significant that I would like to draw your attention to in that story that we read yesterday, that God gave them a day of feasting, God gave them a day of joy, God gave them a good day. If you are not with us, if you will listen to that prayer, you will be able to find where the scriptures come from. It's from the book of Esther. If God had not dealt with Haman, the good days they experienced will never, never, never have come. Can I repeat that? If God had not dealt with Haman, the good days that the children of Israel under Mordecai experienced will never, never have come. In fact, The plan was to bring an end to their days, not only to their days of good days, but to their very existence in life. (laughs) I'm laughing because, you know, there are people who will be happy to put an end to the existence of many of us. Yes, sir. You've seen it in your dreams. You've heard it in prophecies about how some people just wish you dead. That was the wish of 
Haman concerning the children of Israel. He wanted them eliminated, not just one person, not just one family, but hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people he wanted dead. But God in his mercy silenced the enemy of their good days and their story changed. Now that calls for a whole prayer session for tonight. We will be praying against the likes of Haman. We will be praying against forces that prevent or spoil specific good days. Did you hear what I said? We'll be praying against forces that prevent or spoil specific good days. What do I mean by that? You see, there are specific good days that we look forward to from time to time. In fact, I know I will not be wrong to say that all of us on this prayer line tonight have some good things we wish will happen to us in our lives. It could be a good day, like a wedding day. It could also be a specific good day, like a graduation day. It could be I am pregnant day. It could be I got promoted day. Those are good days. It could be my daughter or my son got called to the bar day. Or it could be I got my green card or I got my stay day. Or I got my citizenship day. Or I gave my daughter away in marriage day. The list of specific good days, like I just mentioned, are endless. But as you all know, many times, these good days are prevented from coming. Yes, many times, these good days that we expect, maybe even these good days that God has promised us, we've seen it in dreams, and it just drags on, it drags on, it drags on, and it fails to manifest. Why? because of the influence of anti-good day forces like Haman. That's reality in life. They either prevent the dawn of the good day or they spoil the good day. Did you hear what I said? These powers, these forces, either prevent the dawn of the good day or they spoil the good day. You know, I often talk about a relation of mine whose son went to medical school. In fact, the son happens to be my own nephew. Well, he went to medical school, brilliant young boy. The day of graduation came and his mother had called him big, lavish celebration for her son becoming a medical doctor. Food was ready. There was abundance of drinks. There was a long list of guests. Good day. And I can see a proud mother and I can see a proud father. But there were spoilers that were waiting for that day never to be. And guess what happened? They succeeded. What happened? The boy, the morning of the graduation, was called to his department, Department of Medicine, and found out that he could not graduate. Why? <laughs> One of his professors said he was driving his father's 504 Pujo car all over the campus. And that uh, he hated him for doing that. And he was going to teach him a lesson. That was all. He vowed to deal with my little nephew ruthlessly. And he ended up failing him. And the party was canceled. Guess what happened? 
my relation who happened to be his uh, mother developed a serious medical condition that he still she's still battling with till today after over 25 years now you see why i said we need to pray against forces that delay or prevent a specific good day there are many humans in this world that don't want you to have a good day. We need to pray against them. Don't forget uh, Esther had to really stand up under the instigation of uh, Mordecai to pray against the Haman. And many of us have Hamans in, your life, in our lives. There are Lebans also that prevent the good day of marriage celebration. Jacob was ready to celebrate with a new wife only for him to be given a wrong daughter. I was reading that account today in the book of Genesis. The party was ready. The food was ready. But Laban was the spoiler of a good day and delayed what he really wanted for another seven years. These are many all around us, like Potiphar's wife. Up until Potiphar came into the scene, Joseph always had a good day, day after day. But Mama Potiphar came and lied against Joseph, and she spoiled his day, not for that day, but for many days because he ended up in prison. Oh, sometimes it is not even human beings that spoil our days. It's spirits that spoil our days. Like the Prince of Persia, who spoiled a good day that Daniel would have got his prayer answered. Because the Bible says it was from day one that God sent the answer. But the Prince of Persia said, you're not going anywhere. And he delayed that good day for 21 good days. You know, I laugh at believers who say they have faith, they have this, they have that. And when we read the scriptures, they say, well, that's Old Testament. <laughs> Show me any New Testament saint that Daniel could not match. It's not so much I know how to pray. It's not so much I know how to fast. It's the mercy of God. And you know you have to have at the back of your mind. There are powers that even angels cannot resist. Because as angel Gabriel could not overcome the prince of Persia, God had to send the prince of all angels, Michael himself, to the rescue. Spoiled a good day. What about Pharaoh? Pharaoh was out to spoil a good day for the children of Israel. I mean, here were people that had come out of, uh, of Egypt and they were dancing, they were shouting, they were celebrating that they were on their way until suddenly he had a change of mind. And he said, let me go spoil their day. And he went with all the warriors in Egypt, ready to spoil the day of the children of Israel. And the Bible tells us very clearly that he turned a day of freedom into a day of panic. That's what spoilers do. So sometimes it's human beings like uh, Pharaoh, is human beings like uh, Laban, is human beings like... Uh, even Jezebel and Ahab. But at other times, it is a spirit like the Prince of Persia. And when these two are in collusion, when the spirits and the human beings are in collusion, it makes things very difficult for the one that is looking forward to having a good day. Look at those people that were traveling to Tarshish. And everything was good until a passenger joined them by name Jonah. 
and a good day turn into a bad day. Many of you that are married to stupid men, many of you that are married to stupid women, you know everything was fine for you, everything was fine with you until this guy entered in your life, until this woman entered in your life and your good days evaporated from the day I do. I had a man in my church in Alabama. <laughs> he told me, he said, Bishop, I was married for one week. And he said, my friend, they had a fight in the reception. And from the reception, they went back to the city hall to get a divorce. I don't know who to blame, but somebody surely brought a bad day into another person's life. So tonight... We're going to be praying against forces that prevent. We're going to be praying against forces that spoil specific good days. My question to you tonight is what particular day are you looking forward to experiencing? Let's pray that spoilers will not prevent. Let's pray that spoilers will not spoil such days that you are looking forward to. And where spoilers have delayed the manifestation of these good days, we are going to go after those who are delaying it and use fire power to cause them to bow before you. May you have your God-ordained good day no matter what. May you have your God-ordained good day no matter who is opposed to that good day. Well, I'm going to stop here so we can pray. And let's begin our prayer with thanksgiving tonight. I want you to say, Father, I thank you for another experience. Yes, that you are going to give us tonight. Come on, open your mouth and bless his name and worship him and adore him for being with us since yesterday when we left this place. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we give you all the adoration for being with us since we left this place yesterday. Thank him for the experience of last night. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for the experience of being able to come before the throne of grace, uh, praying for a good day. I never thought of it until I read it in the book of Esther that you can pray for a good day because that's what God promises us. Thank him for your future good days that are already secured in Christ. They must manifest in your life. They will manifest in your life. By the grace of God Almighty, thank him for the power to heal us of painful memories of evil days. Those were the days we talked about yesterday and we prayed against yesterday. Days that you remember and say, wow, I wish that day never came. I want you to thank God for his power to heal you, for his power to make it up for you, for his power to compensate you for evil days, for bad days, for rubbish days that you have been put through. Many of you have never been in court until you met this Laban. Many of you have never been in court until you met this snobgrass. And it turned a good life into a very disorganized life. But it's all right. God is a good God. You have picked up your pieces and everything's going to be all right for you. The future is bright for you. I want to just thank God in advance and say with all that I've been through, with all that I've been subjected to, hallelujah, I thank you, Lord, because tomorrow shall be better than today. Thank him for the power to heal us of painful memories of evil days. Yes, God has the power to heal you of painful memories of evil days. Evil day that came upon you on the job. Evil day that came upon you in the family. Evil day that came upon you wherever it came. God still has the power of healing you and giving you rest from the bitter thoughts that came from those evil days. Thank him for his power to prevent a reoccurrence of such evil days that nobody wants to remember. Thank God because the likes of Haman's in our lives are never allowed to go unrewarded. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> the Haman's in our lives are never left unrewarded. That's what I found out over and over and over again. I wanted to say, Lord, I bless you because you are the God of judgment. God will judge. Yes, God will ask those who did it. Why did you do it to them? 
and God will deal with them, and that's what we are going to pray for tonight. We cannot deal with them by our own selves, but God is able to deal with them in the way that he deems fit. Thank God, because Hamans don't go unrewarded. Pharaohs don't go unrewarded. Ahabs and Jezebels don't go unrewarded. Mention them that bring evil days, that mess up good days. They never go unrewarded. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you even if I don't pray against them. Even if I don't pray about them, you are too faithful to let them go without rewarding them. Father, I will bless you. You are a God of justice tonight. And we come and we approach the throne of grace, knowing that the courts of God, you will be justified tonight. Bless his name. Worship him. There are people that have put delays into your life. And people see you and say, why haven't you got this? Why haven't you got that? When actually it's not your fault. It's somebody that put it in your life. Well, if they have not been rewarded, they will begin to be rewarded after tonight. There are people who have put our lives on a hold that rained on our parade. I'm sure you know what they mean when they say somebody rains on your parade. They just mess things up for you. Oh, yes, things might be messed up. Don't allow yourself to be messed up. Because the God who recompenses will recompense for you against every evil day. Thank him. Because whether we know who they are or we don't know who they are, God already knows who they are. You know, sometimes the people that are against your good days, you can't identify them. You don't know who they are. If somebody asks you, who did this to you? You say, I don't know. Well, but God knows. And we are going to tell God, whoever has spoiled my good day, whoever has refused to allow my good day to come, Whoever has refused to allow my day of joy to come, Father, you have to rise up and do something about them tonight. In the name of Jesus. I want you to thank him because the presence of enemies of good days, they do not prevent God from giving and securing good days for us. Hallelujah. Yes, there may be enemies standing there, but you can still have what you want. That was what we saw from the life of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was there with a mighty army. But the good day was the good day, and the children of Israel were not going to be denied. It was Pharaoh and his men that were denied. Come on, give God the praise, give God the glory, because the presence of enemies of good days, they will not prevent God from giving you good days and securing good days for you in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray tonight that anti-good day forces will give us, God will give us tonight, appropriate prayer points concerning them. I got about 50 something prayer points. If I continued, I probably will have 60. So I'm just going to rush on and hurry on tonight. I want us to pray that the Lord will give us prayer points against anti-good day forces. They're everywhere. Oh, they're on your job. That's why you are not promoted. They're in your school. That's why they won't let you pass an exam. They are everywhere. They are even in church. Hallelujah. I want us to thank God because there is power in his grace. There is power in his hand to block and hinder all anti-good day forces in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to thank God because he will give us appropriate prayer points to be able to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, we need to come against sin now. We need to come against unbelief now. I want you to pray that the Lord will wash you of any sin, will wash you of any unbelief, will wash you of any doubt, will wash you of any double-mindedness that may hinder your prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord, I pray you will cleanse me. I pray you will wash me. I pray you will purge me and purify me. If there be any iniquity in my heart, if there be any iniquity in my life, I pray that the blood of Jesus will wash me. I just need good day. The good day that I will receive a phone call. Hallelujah. Oh, that what you are looking for is here. Come and pick it up. That what you want is ready. Come and get it. Yes, you are looking forward to good. I said every one of us, no doubt, every one of us on this prayer line, there is one good day or another that you are looking forward to. And if those good days are in the hand of somebody, they have to let go of it. If they are sitting on your good days, if they are sitting on your good days, they have to stand up tonight and let your good day come on you in the name of Jesus. Sin will hinder us. 
Unbelief will hinder us. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus for yourself tonight. Say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against sin. I plead the blood of Jesus against unbelief. If you say you have no iniquity, you might be deceiving yourself. So even if you think you are the holiest man on earth, I want you to pray. Lord, just in case there is something wrong that I'm not aware of, I pray that you will just cleanse me. I pray that you will just forgive me tonight. That sin and unbelief will not hinder my prayers tonight. Why don't you pray for strength in the name of Jesus? Pray that God will give you strength to focus, strength to pray. Pray for me also that God will give me strength to be able to lead these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. We got many friends all across the world. I see Pastor DG in Nigeria. You are supposed to be sleeping by now, but he's always there. We pray that God will give you strength. And many people from Nigeria. Oyango, Pastor Oyango was with us from East Africa yesterday. I pray that God will give you strength for tonight. All of you who are burning the candles just to pray. Many of you, I don't even know you, but you know yourself. Receive strength to pray tonight. Receive grace to pray tonight. Receive anointing to pray tonight. And for those of us who are still seven something, uh, maybe six something, maybe even three something, for those of you who may be uh, somewhere in the West Coast, may God give strength to everybody all across the world, even as we pray, as we thank God tonight. For specific good days that are ahead of us for our future. Hallelujah. I know specific good days are ahead of me. Oh, hey. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you. Because without a doubt, there are specific good days that are wired into my life by you. I wanted to say, Lord, I bless your name. I worship you. I adore you. Because good days are coming, people. Good days are coming. Happy days are coming. Days of feasting are coming. Regardless of what is happening today, thank God for specific good days that you are expecting. Specific good days that are ahead of you. Mention them to God. Mention them to God. Mention them to God. Lord, I'm thanking you in advance for the specific day when I will get my stay in this country. When I will get my green card in this country. When I will get my citizenship in this country. When I will step in the airport and move out of this country. Hallelujah. Those are good days. I see someone on the line right now on Facebook uh, looking forward to a specific day when he will move into his house, when he will finish his house, uh, and he will call me and say, Bishop, I'm moving into my house tomorrow. It's been a long time, but it's done, and it shall not take long in the name of Jesus. Uh, mention specific good days uh, that you are believing God for ahead in your life. Uh, the day you will go to your international airport uh, and you say bye-bye to your country, you will be relocating and God will be blessing you where you are, where you are going. And you will be a blessing to others also. Thank God. Thank God. What are those specific days? The day you will march down the aisle and they will say, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. I don't know why they don't sing, here comes the bridegroom. It's always da 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 Da, 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 da. They will be singing that song for you soon. It's a good day. It's coming your way. Hallelujah. It's a good day that the doctor will tell you, Mrs. So and so, you are pregnant. Hallelujah. It's a good day. Whatever the good day you are expecting, the day that you will take your daughter by her hand and you will march her down the aisles and you'll be so happy and you'll get to the reception. They will say, Come and dance. We are now going to have the the, the bride dance with her father. Well, I run away from that anyway. You can't make me dance the dance that I don't want to dance anyway. That's a story for past tense. I just want you to pray tonight that, Lord, I thank you because of this good day that is coming. Hallelujah. I thank you because of this good day that is coming. You know, many good days have come in your life. It's not going to end with those good days. So many more good days. When you go and check the computer and they say you passed that exam, that's an exam you have failed so many times. I wanted to just thank God for those good days that are coming. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I wanted to thank God for the good days that have come already, unobstructed. Yes, we are praying against obstructions, but there have been many good days that came in our lives that God did not allow to be obstructed. Let's just give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him dominion and majesty 
for good days that were not obstructed in your life. I want you to mention to God good days that have become so hard to see and experience. Mention them to God right now. Those are the things we have come to wage war against. All the good days that are so hard to experience. Many of them are in our seven prayer requests that we pray for every Friday night. I don't know if we have time to get to it tonight. But I wanted to mention to God those good days that have now become so hard. It's like pulling teeth for you to experience them. Say, Lord, this one I want to experience. I can't see it. I want to see my son get married, my daughter get married. I want to see my business get blessed. I want to see my health. A day when I will be able to breathe freely and I will not be using medication for diabetes. That would be a good day for the doctor to say you are cleared. I wanted to say, Lord, all these good days that I want to experience. A good day that I will wake up and I will not think about the bad days of the past. I wanted to say, Lord, here they are, they are, here they are. Mention them. The good days that you're expecting. The specific good days that you're expecting God to give you. Hallelujah. I wanted to mention them to God. Say, Lord, Lord, I'm expecting this specific good day. This is what I really want. This is what I really want. I will be really happy. It will be a day of feasting. It will be a day of joy. It will be a day of rejoicing. If I can have this good day, but there's so much obstruction, so many delays, so many fight against this good day. I want you to say, Lord God, do something. Say, oh Lord, do something. Open your mouth. Say, oh Lord, do something. Hallelujah. Say, oh Lord, do something about those good days that I've yet, I'm yet to experience in my life. There are many of them. Oh, hey, say, oh Lord, do something. Do something. Do something. Do something. Pray, 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 pray. I told you we have to pray by faith tonight. Uh, say, oh Lord, do something about those yet to be experienced good days in my lives. Uh, I have a couple of them myself. Oh, so I'm not just leading prayer for you alone. I'm leading prayer for myself too. Say, oh Lord, do something, do something, do something, do something. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. I know you are doing something. Uh, but I want you to tell the Lord to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, there's nothing wrong in asking God to hurry up. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, do something for us in a hurry about those good days I'm yet to experience in my life. My life will be better if I can experience them. My life will be more settled if I can experience them. I will have joy unspeakable full of glory if I can experience them. I want you to say, Lord, do something, do something. You have the power. I want you to remind the power that he, the God that he has the power. Yes, God has the power to do all things. Say, oh Lord, you, has, you who has all the power to do all things, please do something. Papa, please do something and do it speedily about those yet to be experienced. Good days in my life. In the name of Jesus. I wanted to say, my father, my father, where there are blockages, where there are hindrances, bulldoze them out of my way tonight. Bulldoze them out of my way tonight. Where there are blockages and hindrances in the way of my good days. Papa, move them out of my way. Shove them out of my way. Destroy them in my way. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and pray tonight. Tonight is not the night to play with your nails. So tonight is not even the night to look at the clock on your wall. Tonight is the night to focus on God. Because we all have them. Good days that are yet to be experienced. And God said you have all things. That's what the Bible promises us. So all the good days that we have been denied. All the good days that we have been blocked. All the good days that we have been prevented from experiencing. Say, oh Lord, do something, do something, do something, do something, do something. About those yet to be experienced good days in my life. <laughs> I see some of you smiling already. Ready. The good days that will make you smile, that will make you look at food like that and say, I have no appetite. I am so happy. I don't even want to eat. The joy of the Lord has filled me up. You will be unable to sleep for joy. You will even be crying for joy. I want you to say, Lord, bulldoze all blockages. Bulldoze all red tape. For many of you, it's human red tape. Oh, hey. oh Lord, bulldoze them out of the way. All hindrances, all blockages, bulldoze them out of my way. I want you to pray tonight. Those in offices, those in powerful places that are sitting on your good day. Your file is there. 
Everything is approved. But to just give it to you, they will not give it to you. I want you to pray the Lord will make them stand up. I know of a brother who was supposed to be given a big position. But some, the president had approved of his position. But there was a secretary that sat on it. And we pray, 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 pray. We couldn't get the answer. Until we found out who was sitting on it. And God took care of it and he got that position. I want you to pray that everything that you expect to get from human powers, from the powers that be in places of authority, the Lord will move them to work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Where are your good days? Where are the good days? Principalities and powers are involved with them. And I'm talking about not demons and devils, the human powers, human principalities. They are the ones that are sitting on your glory. They are the ones that are sitting on your joy. I want you to pray tonight, Lord God, move upon them in the name of Jesus. And if they are demonic powers, if they are demonic principalities that are involved in the delay of my day of glory, of my day of joy, of my good day, whatever principalities and powers have been summoned against me, Oh Lord, like Daniel, give me victory. Like Daniel, someone angel Michael for me, oh God. Papa involved Michael and all his forces to arise and fight for me tonight. So my good days that have been prevented, how wonderful it will be for them to say I'm pregnant. How wonderful will it be for me to send out invitations for my daughter's wedding, for my son's wedding. How wonderful wonderful it will be for me to be calling Europe or calling Germany or calling wherever and say reserve a place for me I'm coming I got my visa that's a good day isn't it a good day I want you to pray in the name of Jesus where human beings are in my way where powers and principalities are in my way where demons and devils are in my way oh Lord summon your angels to fight them summon your angels to open the door I want you to pray tonight that like Daniel, say, oh Lord, like Daniel, give me grace never to give up praying. Give me grace never to keep up, give up believing that my good day shall surely come. My brother, your good day shall surely come. Hey, my good day shall surely come. Our good day shall surely come. I just wanted to pray for grace. God will give you grace like he gave Daniel that the day will come when you will call me up and say, Bishop, I'm marrying on the 23rd of June or the 27th of October, whatever day it is, God can hurry it up. Say like Daniel, oh, give me grace to pray. Even though the answer had been given from day one, the preventers of good day, they were preventing it. They were fighting it. You know what you are dealing with right now is the spirits that cause delay. When I do mass deliverance and we call out the spirit of delay, things happen. I want you to pray tonight. Every spirit of delay that is involved in the name of Jesus that is hindering the manifestation of my good day. Oh Lord God, summon your angels to fight for me, oh God. And give me grace never to give up praying. Give me grace never to give up, give up believing that my good day shall surely come. In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, reinforcements from heaven. Open your mouth and pray, my friends. Say reinforcements from heaven to fight against wicked powers. Reinforcements from heaven to fight against wicked powers that have been employed to frustrate me from seeing good days. I want you to mention those areas that you are not seeing good days. Mention them, mention them, mention them, mention them, mention them. Oh Lord, I'm supposed to have seen good days in this area. I'm supposed to have seen good days in that area. But there are powers from hell. There are powers and principalities that have been employed and hired to frustrate me that I will not see good days in the area of marriage that I will not see good days in the area of passing an exam that I will not see good days in the area of obtaining a visa that I will not see good days in the day of, of, of filling my account with money that I will not see good days in living right before God oh Lord God reinforcement papa reinforcement from heaven 
to fight against wicked powers, whether human or demonic. Papa, arise and fight for me. Arise and fight for me. Can I say something to you tonight? A man's foes are usually they of their own household. When it comes to good days being delayed, look in your household. I want you to pray any household wickedness that have vowed, except they die, I will not see a particular good day. Say any household wickedness that have vowed that except they die, that until they die, I will not see a particular good day. Say, oh Lord, that one is easy. Give them the desires of their hearts so I can go ahead and have what I want. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, my family member was married to a woman. I will never forget this. Is a family member, an extended family member, was married to a woman who couldn't get pregnant. And then she found out it was a mama that she was living with. She offended this woman when she was about 14 years old. And the woman said, as long as I live, you will never have a child. And this woman got married. She couldn't have a child. Then they told me that Miss so-and-so is pregnant. And I said, what happened? They said, the woman that made the vow is dead. I want you to pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever I might have offended, oh God, in the name of Jesus who say, except they die, I will not see a particular good day. Whoever I might have offended in the church, whoever I might have offended in the family, whoever I might have offended on the job, whoever I might have offended in the family. And you know we offend people, we don't even know we offend them. And they make a vow that until they die, you will not see a good day. Say, oh Lord, what are you waiting for? Give them the desires of their hearts. In the name of Jesus, they want to die, let them die. That's their choice. Oh Lord, but give me my good day in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that where your good day has been sealed, where your good day has been seized by generational covenants. Did you hear what I said? Say, Oh Lord, where my good day has been sealed and cancelled and seized by generational covenants. Papa cancel and overrule the covenants for me in the name of Jesus. Every wicked covenant overrule them. Every wicked covenant cancel them that are standing in the way of my of the fulfillment of the good day that you promised me in the name of Jesus. What about witchcraft? Oh God, we are the power of witchcraft is behind the delay and the spoilage of my good day. Let your fire dissolve their power. We used to have a lady in my church when I was in Nigeria. It was a houseboy. In the house boy was not really a house boy he was the son of this the sister's sister living with them and the day she conf he confessed to us in church we were shocked and she, he said as long as i live with them the woman will never get pregnant i want you to pray oh lord where the power of witchcraft is behind the delay and the spoilage of my good day let your fire dissolve their power let your fire dissolve their power. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord, people. Where the power of witchcraft is behind the delay and the spoilage of my good day. Some people will get pregnant. They will dream a dream and see something red. And that's the end of the pregnancy. Say, oh Lord, I come against witchcraft in the name of the Father. I come against witchcraft in the name of the Son. I come against witchcraft in the name of the Holy Ghost. We are the power of witchcraft is behind the delay and the spoilage of my good day. Let your fire dissolve their power. Let your fire destroy their power. Let your fire destroy their power. It may not be the witchcraft of bewitchment. It may just be the craftiness of witchcraft. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord my God, we are craftiness of witchcraft and bewitchness of witchcraft. I'm working against the manifestation of my good day. Papa, destroy those powers. Papa, destroy those powers. Papa, disgrace those powers. Papa, destroy those powers. Papa, disgrace those powers. We are the craftiness of witchcraft and the bewitchedness of witchcraft. I'm working against the manifestation of my good day. I want you to pray against them. Marine spirits, marine powers that have been consulted to keep good days from coming my way, to keep good day of rejoicing from 
from coming my way. Uh, to keep day of feasting from coming my way. Uh, they just want you to fast and fast and fast until you die and never feast. Uh, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, witchcraft from my father's house, uh, witchcraft from my wife's house, uh, witchcraft from my husband's house uh, that are walking against the manifestation of my good day. Uh, be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Come on, be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Uh, let's go against the ties and the bindings. Uh, say every tie, say every binding uh, from the pits of hell uh, that have stopped uh, the flow of the good day uh, in my life. Uh, Papa, lose my blessing to me. Uh, Papa, destroy the tie with fire. Papa, destroy the bindings with fire. Whatever has been tied down, that should have been loosed into my life. Whatever has been held up, whatever good day, Jesus, Jesus, whatever good day has been held up, don't you see yourself? You are in one spot and you know yourself. You could do better than you are doing. You could achieve better than you are achieving. But there is a tie somewhere. There is a binding somewhere. And they have stopped the flow of the good day that God has already released. Uh, say, oh Lord, lose me. Say, oh Lord, lose my blessings. Say, oh Lord, lose me. Say, oh Lord, lose my blessings. Uh, say, oh Lord, lose me. Say, oh Lord, lose my blessings. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh. In the name of Jesus, my people is not only devil so, my people is not only demon so, some people like Laban, hey, your own uncle, Jesus Christ, that was Laban, the uncle of Jacob, where the craft of men, let's pray against the craftiness of Laban, the craftiness of uncles, the craftiness of aunties, the craftiness of mothers and fathers, they are behind the manifestation of my good day, say, oh, Lord, overrule tonight. Say, oh Lord, overrule tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, where the craftiness of men like Laban are behind the hindrance of my good day manifesting. Papa, overrule for me, overrule for me, overrule for me. We are the wickedness of men. We are the wickedness of women like Potiphar's wife is behind my bad days. Oh Lord, vindicate me, vindicate me, vindicate me. Some of us have been sent into prison, all bound up, all tied up by the likes of Potiphar's wife. I want you to pray the Lord will redeem you. I want you to pray the Lord will release you. I want you to pray the Lord will give you victory like he gave unto Joseph. In the name of Jesus, say, my Father, my God, you ultimately release Joseph to experience not just a good day, but a better day. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. Open your mouth and cry to the Lord tonight. Say, remember me, O Lord, like you remember Joseph. Remember me, O Lord. I've been kept in this prison long enough. I've been kept away from my day of glory. I've been kept away from my day of joy. I've been kept away, O Lord, from my good day. Too long. O Lord, remember me, remember me, remember me, remember me, remember me. I want you to tell the Lord tonight. Say, Lord, do something for me that will make me forget. Yes. Do something for me, hallelujah, oh, that will make me forget all injustices that I've suffered in my life, especially in your father's house. You know, I've told, I've told so many people in my interactions with them, I always say you need to write a book. You need to write a book. Somebody needs to write, write a book tonight and share your story tonight. I want you to pray tonight. God, do something, do something, do something that will make me, oh Lord, forget all injustices that I've suffered in life, all good days that have been locked up against me in life, in the name of Jesus. Now let's go and say, Lord, whatever specific day I'm looking forward to tonight, and we are looking forward to them, they are all in our prayer envelopes. Oh Lord, whatever specific day I'm looking forward to tonight, let not the cunningness of men like Liban, let them not mess it up. Oh, hey. Whatever specific day I'm looking forward to, and we are all looking forward to it, uh, the cunningness of men, uh, the cunningness of devils, uh, the cunningness of men, uh, the cunningness of devils, uh, let them not overrule your plan. Oh, I declare, I declare, I declare, come on, make this declaration. Uh, say, I declare that disappointment uh, caused by people I trust. Uh, yea, disappointment uh, caused by people I trust. Uh, it, it, 
Jacob trusted Laban. That's my uncle. He trusted him. And guess what happened? He disappointed him. Said they shall not spoil my expected good days. In the name of Jesus. They shall not delay me by seven years. In the name of Jesus. They shall not change my way ten times. Jacob said he changed his wages ten times. I want you to pray that authorities, authorities and powers. Let's come against authorities and powers. In the name of Jesus, like Ahab, like Ahab and Jezebel. Say powers in authority. Oh, powers in authority, wicked powers in authority that are taking what belongs to me, good days that belong to me. Can you imagine Naboth? Every day was a good day when he went into this vineyard and he looked at the flowers and he looked at the plants and he was happy. But all of a sudden, they put an end to that good day and they took it from him. Say, oh Lord, whatever they have taken from me, Papa, you know them. Even something Things have been taken from us that we never knew we had. I want you to pray whether I knew it or I did not do it, know it. Father, whatever has been taken from me, oh God, deal with my Ahab, deal with my Jezebel in the name of Jesus. Papa, deal with every neighbor, every 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 every, every Jezebel, every Ahab that have snatched and harvested glory from me, that have snatched and harvested blessings from me. Papa, deal with them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, they have taken what is rightfully mine, positions that are rightfully mine, anointing that God has promised me. They block me that this anointing will not come to me. Oh Lord, these bad days that they have given me, let them not succeed any longer. Let them not succeed any longer. Let these bad days not continue any longer. In the name of Jesus, they kill Naboth. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Come on, say, I shall not die. Come on, say, I shall not die. They they are out to kill you, oh, say, but I shall not die. I shall live. Hey, I shall not die, but I shall live. Say, my life shall not be taken away from me because of good things and good days that I promised my life. Oh, Lord, they are out to destroy me. Say, I shall not be destroyed. Say, I will not be destroyed. Say, I must not be destroyed. My good days, I will enjoy you in the name of Jesus. Yes, I know that going to heaven is a place of enjoyment, but I want to have some enjoyment here on earth. My good days, I shall not be taken, it shall not be taken away from me. Covetous Ahab, greedy, greedy Jezebel, you will not turn my good days into evil days like it was done to Naboth. Open your mouth, say spirit of covetousness, spirit of greed, open your mouth that have possessed some people and they want to turn my good days into evil days like they did against Naboth, it shall not prosper against me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hey! Some people got on the boat. They were going to Tashish. And all of a sudden, this young man joined them. I want you to pray, oh, hey. Say, whoever is in the boat of my life, open your mouth and pray. Whoever is in the boat of my life, bringing me evil days. Papa, give me courage to throw them overboard. Did you hear what I said? Say, every Jonah in my boat, go overboard. 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 I want you to pray tonight, Lord. Every Jonah that is in your boat, spoiling your good days. Jonah came in. Oh, if Jonah did not come in, there would have been no bad day. He came in. They had to empty all their corn. They had to empty all their banana. They had to empty all the food they had on board. And yet, Jonah sat there. Say, oh Lord, I will not lose my life. I will not lose what I've got because of this useless Jonah in this boat with me. Papa threw him overboard. In fact, Jonah was himself who said, just throw me overboard. They tried. Say, oh Lord, stop me from trying. Many of you are trying, but you don't need to try. Just get hold of Jonah. Throw Jonah overboard and you will have peace until Jonah leaves you. Until you leave Jonah, you will never experience the peace that you want. Say, oh Lord, whoever is in the boat of my life, bringing me evil days, give me courage to throw them overboard in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, my father, my father, my father, my father. Hey, let me not partner with.
with. Let me not travel in life with. Did you hear what I said? Oh Lord, let me not partner with them. Let me not travel with them. All those that you are angry with, they are good day spoilers. Jonas, oh, they are good day spoilers. Oh Lord, let me not partner with them. Let me not travel with them. Those that you are angry with, those you are displeased with, those who are walking in disobedience to you. Oh Lord, let me not be their partner in business. Let me not be their partner in marriage. Let me not be their partner in ministry. Say, oh Lord, separate me tonight from the Jonas who brings thoughts to good days. Did you hear what I said? Say, oh Lord, separate me from all Jonas who brings storms to good days. All the day was good, oh, until Jonah came into the boat. Then this storm came in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, say, my father, separate me from Jonas that brings storms to good days. In the name of Jesus, I said there are people like Mordecai, like, 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 uh, like Haman that will bring trouble wherever they are. The Lord must separate you from them. I want you to pray for your married children. They may be two years old. They may be three years old. They may be five years old. They may be 15 years old. They may be 45 years old. I want you to pray that all our unmarried children, they will not invite Jonas. That will spoil their good days. That will bring trouble into their lives. Mention the names of your sons. Mention the name of your daughters. Say, oh Lord, all my unmarried children, that no matter how, how old or young, let them not invite Jonas that will spoil their good days. I said people, people that will prevent, people that will delay in the name of Jesus. The Hamans who have selected dates for the spoilage of your life to end you in a gallow that they are built for you. Say, oh Lord, let them end up in the gallow they are built for me. Say, in the name of Jesus, whoever has built a gallow for my destruction, whoever has built a gallow to tear me into pieces, get into to your gallows, be destroyed in your gallows, get into your gallows, be destroyed in your gallows. All those that have built gallows to kill the children of Israel, they ended up in the same gallows. Oh Lord, so shall be the portion of enemies of my good days. They've kept us in one place for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and they, and they are happy. How can they be happy and you are sad when they are the sad people who did sad things? Oh Lord, deal with them. Oh all the humans who have selected dates for the destruction of my life. Let them end up in the gallows that they build for me. Let the demons that they are sending against me begin to turn on gun against them and fight against them. I want you to decree tonight. Let's make a decree. Let's make a decree. Please forgive me. Oh, we are going to go over tonight. Maybe five minutes, maybe six minutes. I don't know. But we will need to finish this prayer. All these wicked people that tie us up in one place. And you are looking at yourself and say, me, as beautiful as I am, I cannot get married. Maybe there's somebody behind it. As healthy as I am, I cannot get pregnant. Maybe there's somebody behind it. I want you to pray on specific good days. I want you to decree tonight. Say a decree. The specific good days of my life will begin to manifest. No matter what human does, no matter what human beings do, no matter what demonic challenges bring, specific good days, specific good days begin to manifest, begin to manifest. Say all specific good days. Oh Lord, let them begin to manifest in my life. No matter what human does, no matter what Pharaoh does, no matter what Potiphar's wife do. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, no matter what Potiphar's why does I decree in the name of Jesus specific good days, clear good days, wanted good days begin to manifest, begin to manifest, begin to manifest. The wedding day begin to manifest. I am pregnant day begin to manifest. Graduation day begin to manifest. I got promoted day begin to manifest. I passed my exam begin to manifest. My daughter is called to the bar begin to manifest. I got my green card begin to manifest. I got my stay begin to manifest. I got my visa begin to manifest. I gave my daughter away in marriage begin to manifest. All blockages, all blockages begin to disappear. All blockages begin to disappear. All blockages begin to disappear. Oh Lord, let no one be empowered. Open your mouth. Let no one be empowered to hinder the manifestation of my good days. In the name of Jesus, Papa, let no one be empowered to block and to hinder the manifestation of my good 
good days. Say whoever is going around with powers, whoever is going around with witches, and they say we will hinder him, and they will hinder me. Oh Lord, hinder them, hinder them. Anti-good day forces in my life be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Anti-good day forces in my life. Say, Papa, scatter them by fire. Say, Papa, scatter them by fire. Those who are going around, going to visit voodoo practitioners, going to visit juju houses, going into forests, going into places, just to put me in a bind, to put me in one place, not to allow good day to manifest in my life. God punish you in the name of Jesus. May God punish you in the name of Jesus. There's nothing I can do against you, but God can do many things against you. Those that have said good day, I will not see. Papa, punish them in the name of Jesus. Papa, punish them in the name of Jesus. Papa, judge them in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that no one will have the power to prevent or spoil the dawn of your good day. Say, oh Lord, mention their name. Those who are going around, those who are calling you and boasting, oh Lord, take the power from them. Take the power from them. Those who sing they have power to prevent those who think they have power to spoil the dawn of my good day those who are running around that will be in the casket on my good day they shall not prosper oh lord crush their power oh lord crush their forces in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you know what people some good days should be achieved easily if not for the Hamans, if not for the Jezebels, if not for these foolish Potiphar's wives, I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, easily achievable good days in the name of Jesus that they have turned into difficult, impossible effort. Oh Lord, crush their powers. I stamp them under my feet tonight in the name of Jesus. Come under my feet, 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 come under my feet. Say, wicked powers that reign on the parades of good days. Wicked powers in my father's house. Wicked powers among my in-laws that reign on my parade. Oh Lord, reign of fire. Let it be their portion. Reign of fire. Let it be their portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at stupid Pharaoh. He turned a day of freedom into a day of panic. Yes, he, he did not succeed, oh, but he made the children of Israel to panic. Say, my father, powers, human powers, demonic powers that turn days of freedom to days of panic. Let them end up in the Red Sea of their life. Let them end up in the Red Sea, oh God. Powers that turn day of freedom into day of panic like Pharaoh did. Let them end up in the Red Sea like Pharaoh did. Say, I decree, I decree, I decree, I decree. Come on, decree. We're about to close. Say a decree. Specific good days that I wish for in my life, I shall begin to experience right now without opposition. Say, Papa, crush all oppositions. Say, Papa, destroy all oppositions. Say, Papa, take all oppositions out of my way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have gone over by three minutes. Give me two more minutes. Say, Oh Lord, specific good days that I wish for my life. Spoilers. They must not have a say. They will not have a say. They shall not have a say in the name of Jesus. Specific good days that I wish for my life. All oppositions be swallowed up by fire. All oppositions to specific good days that I'm looking forward to. They shall not delay it. They shall not tie it up in the name of Jesus. Come on, say from now. Say from now. Say from now. Lord, let me always experience all expected good days. No matter who, no matter what is opposed to it. No matter how powerful they are, they will not succeed. Say, Papa, from now on, in the name of the Father. Say, from now on, in the name of the Son. Say, from now on, in the name of the Holy Ghost, let me always experience all expected good days. No matter who is against it, no matter what is against it, no matter the number of people against it, no matter the voodoo 
or whatever is against it, I shall have my good day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to thank God. I promise you I will not go beyond two more minutes. I want you to say, Lord, I bless you. I worship you. I thank you for answer prayers tonight. My good day shall manifest in spite of Mr. So-and-so. My good day shall manifest in spite of Mrs. So-and-so. I know they have written my obituary in their coven. The obituary will become their own. I strike off my name. I put their name inside. In the name of Jesus, Papa, fight for us that our good days will not be held up any longer. Come on, begin to thank God, begin to bless him, begin to worship him, begin to adore him. I want you to pray that between now and end of July, God, good days, those good days will come upon those prayer requests. In the name of Jesus, yes, good days will come upon this prayer request between now and the end of July. In the name of Jesus, let good days, good days, good days, good days come upon all those prayer requests that we have written. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. We bless you, Papa. We worship you. We adore you for what you have done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everybody said amen and amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. Yes, I do. I bless you in the name of the Son. Yes, I do. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May your day of joy not be a day of sadness. And all those who have determined that they will ruin your specific day of joy, those who have determined that they will delay your specific day of joy, may God move them out of your way and give them another assignment that they will not bother you anymore from this day on. May you begin to enjoy and move and experience all that God wants you to experience in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us this Friday. I would like to remind you that uh, all our services for the weekend remain the same. I'm preaching a special sermon on Sunday online. And to those who are in fresh anointing in Nigeria, the theme for Sunday is remember Lot's wife. Yes, remember Lot's wife. I may preach it in New York Church if God leads me to, because I preached it there before, maybe about four years ago. But this is a message everybody needs to hear. If you miss it, go online on Sunday morning. Remember Lot's wife. It's a very powerful word that you need to hear. Next Thursday, we're going to have another prayer gathering by the grace of God. And next Friday will be crossover and communion night because that will be the last evening for June of 2023. So we'll come on Thursday, we'll have a regular prayer like we are having now. And then on Friday, it will be crossover uh, into the new uh, uh, new month. So please have that at the back of your minds. All right. We thank God for each and every one of you joining us tonight. May God bless you. May God keep you. May you continue to have good days for the rest of your life. Shall we share the grace before we go home tonight? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week or this weekend, depending on where you are. Until then, just have a good day. Have a good night and also have a good life. Bye-bye.